Welcome everyone to Kitchen Innovation, where you will find new ways to cook traditional food, or any kind of food for that matter, through simple techniques, methods, recipes, cookware and appliances you may already have, or been thinking about getting, and using them to their fullest potential at home to prepare and cook delicious meals, such as how to turn this infrared convection oven into a smoker, using a few inexpensive items you may have around the house, like an old strainer with the handle removed and a sink drain screen. There are several different devices for cold smoking, which you should use if you already have, but with these cheap items you can easily smoke any kind of meat, fish, or poultry quickly and flavorfully without a high cost. You can also use the low and slow method or even cold smoking just to add smoke flavor to the meat without cooking right away, which will be covered in other videos in this channel. But first, let's demonstrate this method with an unstuffed 13 pound turkey, which has been cut in half and butterflied with the backbone removed, fully brined and seasoned on all sides. This video really isn't about cooking a turkey. It's designed to show you a low cost smoking method that you can do anytime with little effort, so I'll be focusing more on that. Now that the turkey is ready to be placed in the oven, let's prepare the smoking apparatus. Here is a strainer I've used many times as you can see. Take the drain screen and place it upside down in the center. This allows for good airflow to the wood or charcoal we will use for the smoke and keeps the wood and ash separate. Place the strainer on a shallow oven rack at the edge of the bowl to better catch the airflow from the fan. Next fill the strainer around the drain screen with wood pellets, charcoal, or sawdust. For this cook I am just using sawdust which is a mix of different types of wood. It's a great way of getting different smoke flavors in one cook. Here just leave some space keeping the two ends of the wood snake separate. Then place a piece of foil over the wood filled area to keep any juices from dripping on it, extinguishing the burning embers. Just tint the foil to allow air and smoke to freely circulate while keeping the wood and ash from blowing out. Light one end in any way you usually light a wood fire, whether it's with paper, wax fire starters, or a few drops of lighter fluid. Just make sure it starts to burn continuously, so it will snake its way around the strainer smoker. Once it's burning on its own, quickly place a tall oven rack over the strainer with a saucer in the middle. It's a great idea to have plenty of these racks around for these types of cooks. You can usually get extra ones online if you don't have any more on hand. The saucer on the rack will further shield the burning wood from any drippings from the turkey and allow a little space to properly circulate the air to the wood and smoke to the meat. Now just place another rack over the saucer to hold the turkey. Once the racks are in place and the fire has reached a consistent burn, we will then place the turkey on the last rack in any orientation you want, depending on how tender or crispy you want the skin to be cooked. We will need the extender ring for this 13 pound bird. Now for this turkey we will set the cooking temperature at 325 degrees Fahrenheit and cook for about two and a half to three hours or until it reaches an internal temperature of 160 to 165 degrees Fahrenheit, turning it halfway through the cook if you wish. You will use normal cooking temperatures and times for whatever kind of food you're going to smoke. As the fan circulates air, the meat will absorb most of the smoke and the vents will filter the rest, so you won't have your house filled with smoke or an overpowering smoky odor. In fact, the snake method provides a clean burn throughout the cook and doesn't produce too much billowing white smoke. The fan will also provide enough oxygen to the wood so it stays lit and burning, like fanning a fire in an outdoor grill or smoker. In the beginning, you can vent the hood a little to allow more air in to be circulated until the meat starts to cook down, and the fan can send more air to the wood. You can even use an extra extender ring if you have one to give the fan more room to circulate. Also, you can cook in the traditional whole turkey method just as easily, but the butterfly effect seems to cook a little quicker while keeping all that flavor and tenderness you expect. I used a turkey to demonstrate in order to show you that even food this large can be smoked in a convection oven using this method, but you might want to start off with something a little smaller and work your way to larger food. When it reaches the right temperature, the burning should be reaching the end of the process depending on how much wood you loaded into the strainer smoker. If it's still burning, just extinguish it with a few drops of water and save the remaining wood for later use. Or you can leave the heat off, keeping the fan on while the turkey rests to add even more smoke flavor to the meat. If it is burned out before the end of the cook, it should still have plenty of smoke flavor. After you remove the fully smoked turkey from the oven, you will notice the smoke film which is built up around the oven bowl and on the fan lid. This is easily cleaned with a normal cleanup, 
using a mild scented soap and water or a degreaser, which will mostly remove the smoke film and smell. And of course the bowl can be washed in the dishwasher. And that's it. Using this method and this device, you can turn a relatively inexpensive convection oven into a smoker for any type of meat, fish, or poultry without having to spend hundreds of dollars on an offset smoker. Convection ovens, no matter the shape or size, cut the cooking time down for lots of different meals. So combined with this process, you may still be able to smoke or grill large amounts of food indoors for little cost, which in the long run can save you valuable time and money. This is definitely the time where smoking inside is not only permitted, but encouraged. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more Kitchen Innovation.